Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts videos. My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through the step-by-step -step procedures on the replacement parts for the Viking Model F dry pipe valves. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts video. Prior to working on the Viking Model F dry pipe valve, refer to the appropriate technical data sheet for placing the system out of service. Today we will be covering the replacement of the clapper rubber. The clapper rubber is available as an individual replacement part as well as it is offered as part of the clapper assembly kit. To replace the clapper rubber, we will first need to start by removing the cover from the valve. Prior to fully removing the bolts from the valve, you will want to partially loosen the bolts and then break the seal of the cover to make sure that there's no air or water still behind the cover of the valve. We can now fully remove the cover bolts from the cover. We can now remove the cover and the cover gasket from the valve. We take the dry valve reset tool, place it through the hole in the hook assembly till it hits the stop on the clapper arm. To release the clapper, we'll apply a downward force to the hook assembly, allowing the clapper arm to spring up into the latched open position. With the clapper now in the open position, you will want to place something over the water and air seat inside the valve to prevent any of the parts from falling down into the inlet of the valve. We can now release the clapper arm by using our thumb to push up on the latch in the back of the valve and partially pulling down the clapper arm assembly and using needle nose pliers to remove one of the retaining rings on the clapper rod. We can push one of the ends of the clapper rod out to the side of the body of the valve This will fully release the clapper assembly from the clapper arm inside the valve. We can now remove the hex head screw from the clapper assembly. With the hex head screw now removed, we can remove the retaining ring as well as the existing clapper rubber. We can now install the new clapper rubber onto the clapper assembly, making sure that the raised edge for the retaining ring is pointing in the downward position. Once we have that centered, we can reinstall the retaining ring and reinstall the hex head screw. We can now reinstall the existing clapper assembly with the new clapper rubber back into the valve. We will want to line up the holes of the clapper assembly with the holes inside the clapper arm. Push the clapper rod back through to the other side of the clapper arm. We can reinstall the retaining ring. We will want to remove whatever we placed inside the valve to cover the water and the air seat. At this point, we can now reset the clapper on the dry valve. Using our thumb and pushing up on the latch, we will pull down the spring-loaded clapper assembly. We can then insert the dry valve reset tool through the hole in the hook assembly till it hits the stop on the clapper arm. Now with a sharp, quick upward force, we will pull the hook assembly up over the top of the clapper arm. With the clapper now reset, line up the holes of the cover gasket with the housing of the valve. And also line up the cover plate with the cover gasket holes and the body of the valve. With the cover bolts now reinstalled into the cover hand tight, we can now use the dry valve wrench to cross tighten the bolts onto the cover of the valve. This completes the repair parts video for the replacement of the clapper rubber 
and the Viking Model F dry pipe valve. If you need anything additional or have additional questions, please go to our website at www.vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll-free number at 877-384-5464.